Hi guys, Cody Lopez here with TechcellentNews.com and today we have a side-by-side -side comparison of the developer preview of Android M versus Android Lollipop. Let's get into it. Now we have our Nexus 6 installed with the latest Android 5.1.1 and our Nexus 5 is running the preview of Android M. First we take a look at the app drawers. As you can see, Android Lollipop has a horizontal scroll left to right, while the preview of Android M now has a vertical alphabetical scroll up and down. You will also notice a few recently used applications is now located at the top of the application drawer. Alright, so if you jump into the widget drawer of the phones, you will also notice these trends as well. Android Lollipop keeps its horizontal scrolling while Android M now has the vertical scrolling. Consistency is key with Google and I myself find these easier and more enjoyable to use. Now if you didn't think consistency was kind of a big factor with Android M, you can start to tell that Google really wants their new software to be the same all the way around. So while we go into the app section of our settings menu, you will again see the change to the scrolling. Android M doesn't have all of those different pages, but the features are all still available. This is a great improvement in my opinion to clean up some of the software. Something as basic as volume controls can be updated as well. You notice in Android Lollipop that you don't really have many options with volume, but in the new Android M preview, Google has provided a drop down menu to be able to change not only the ringtone volume, but the alarm and media volumes as well. It's great to see Google notice these little things and improve upon them. Alright, so if we grab our Nexus 5 and jump into our settings menu, we're able to go into the developer options with a, a couple taps. Inside developer options, we have a few features that we don't see in Android Lollipop. The first being the system UI tuner. We're able to also able to change the theme color from light to dark. It seems to only affect the setting menu, but either way, I like being able to change it. Now with the system UI tuner, it appears that you are only able to go into the quick settings. This appears to give us the ability to customize these icons to wherever we desire. Nothing drastic, but customization is always a good thing. Alright guys, this will sum up our comparison today. Let us know what you think of the Android M preview with a comment. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel for all things tech. I am Cody Lopez for TechcellentNews.com and I will see you guys in the next video.